Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, thanks for coming in. So today it's a new vlog, new day. And today's vlog is about a very exciting thing. That is, uh, we are going to buy a car. So initially we were like thinking we will not buy. Right now it will take like six months of time. But it's been very hectic uh, with uh, Trishu to manage without a car here. So we have decided uh, to buy a car obviously a used like used car second hand car so i have seen a very good deal in uh, facebook marketplace and already checked yesterday uh, like on all by myself and i like the car so today uh, today we are going for a final kind of deal and anish is going to take a test drive and see if he likes then we will pay and take the car to home so i'll just film the full process come with us and i'll show you how to buy a car here in uk and uh, yeah, it should be, it should be exciting a lot. So we just uh, got down from the first bus. We got down in Oxford Centre and now we need to take the second bus. After taking bus for last one one hour above, we reached to the location where we want to see the car. And now we are walking in a very very narrow lane. It's a shortcut. So before coming for viewing any car, there are a few things uh, which we considered. Like uh, things are like first of all, what is your budget? Second is what kind of mileage car you want. What is the range? Like you want five seat, you want seven seat. What kind of uh, car you want? And the price will vary on number of owners, uh, the kilometer driven, and year of the car. So all those things, seeing if you're if that is matching your requirement, then yeah, 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 petrol or petrol or diesel. So after seeing all those things, if that matches your your requirement, after that we can proceed for speaking next step. So in next step, uh, we ensured like all the vehicle papers available, two keys available or not. Many cars, there will be only one key. Uh, maybe it is okay, but sometimes it's not safe to buy the car with one key. So those are the few things we need to consider before coming. And then definitely a price negotiation also matters. If we, what price it's posted, we can negotiate, we can ask for a little less. So after everything, we need to check the MOT. MOT is like uh, like a kind of a fitness certificate here in UK they have to do like for car every year so if it's a fresh new MOT that means for one year you don't have to do anything so that is uh, that is very good uh, so that also we checked we wanted a fresh MOT car and this is also this is the same so in that in that MOT you can check if there is any previous record of any heavy uh, like uh, any major issues any engine related suspension related issues or not if nothing like that it's a, a tire related or something electrical related means then it's uh, good we can proceed with that the car we are seeing that also never had any major issues so the test drive is going on anish is driving the car and seeing understanding everything inside everything is working properly or not so yeah that is the car and uh, i'll give you a nice tour of the car once it is with us the still the name transfer and all not happen we are just testing the car this is uh, this is the car we bought <laughs> at last we bought 
How yeah, you are feeling? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's good, 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 good car. Everything is fine. Okay, so we did like all full test drive. Everything we checked. It's for our two years. All, all, Actually, all aspects of the car, all areas we checked, everything. And after that, we decided, yeah, we like the car, and we proceed with the payment. So once the payment is done, they are having something called a V5C. In that V5C document, there will be a new keeper slip. So once we uh, like, uh, once we buy the car and do the transaction. They have given this new keeper slip to us, and it will take like uh, 10 days time to come this V5C, the actual car paper, to come to our address directly. And and uh, today, uh, like after doing the payment, the owner, car owner, online uh, he will apply for name change, and it is just uh, like a 10 to 15 minutes work. The car uh, car name will change. Uh, so right now we are waiting for that, and we just completed the vehicle tax and all. Now we are waiting for that uh, car name change mail. Once it will come. Then we have to do the insurance and then we can start the vehicle and go to home. This is our new Dhanno. <laughs> hey guys, so now we are returning from the location where we went for the new car. And uh, yeah, yeah, you drive it is straight, straight now. Now we are going to our home. Uh, you know what? I will sit and give you the full details, full details of the process because right now we don't know the route properly so we have to keep like lots of uh, road rules and many things are there to follow here so straight, straight straight we need to be very careful while driving because we are driving in UK for the first time and uh, yeah so I'll tell you once I reach home I'll tell you the full uh, full in details straight so we reached home and uh, now I have to complete the insurance process so it was very easy the process was very easy um actually yesterday while uh, i'm coming from my office itself i have seen the car and uh, physically i liked it uh, but i wanted anish to check properly on driving and all uh, so today we went checked and we liked it we tried to bargain a little more but uh, the owner didn't uh, agreed so after that we just did our payment and uh, Immediately the name is transferred now. I, we have to wait for like another 10 days for the paper to arrive. It will come to our address, uh, our location. And uh, that's all. I think uh, uh, now we have a car in UK. Uh, it is it is not easy to maintain a car here. It's uh, lots of taxes. Mm -hmm. Is there road tax and uh, insurance and lots of other stuff. But uh, it was getting very difficult uh, for us or mainly for Anish uh, because he wants to drop the shoe uh, to his babysitter and then he wants to go to office. So it was like a very long, long cycle journey for him. So that is the reason we decided for buying a car and uh, uh, hopefully it's a, it's a correct decision we took. And let's see how, how it goes in future. And uh, definitely we like the car if you see inside. Uh, so yeah, all the required amenities, everything is there. So yeah, that is. So while editing the video, I realized that I have not completed uh, the video, like I have not finished the video properly. So I thought I'd give a quite quick wrap up with all the process. So first of all, find a car. It could be in any platform. It could be in Facebook, Gumtree, anywhere. Find your car as per your requirement, as per your uh, budget. So after finding step number two, talk to the owner or dealer about more details about the car, mechanical condition, all the things you can ask. And in that you can ask about a new MOT. If the MOT is going to expire, you can ask for a new MOT. Um, some cases, some dealers, some owners agree. Some cases they do not. If they agree, that is a good point for you because you don't have to spend anything uh, for one year. So you find a uh, car and then you ask for more details for so if you have all the papers to keys, uh, MOT is all this information done you are good to go then third step is going and checking the car physically before that one step I want one thing I want to mention do not fall for any scam there are multiple of scammers out there just in a short one line I will tell do not give any money to anybody unless until you see the car in front of you and you have the key in your hand do not fall for any scam there are many scammers out there who will try to grab something amount of money from you so don't do that okay Step number three, you are physically there, you are checking the car and uh, if you don't have much knowledge about the car condition, engine condition, it's always better to take a mechanic with you who can check the car. It will be cost for now, but in the long run, it is good for you. You don't have to spend more if there is any mechanical issue. So after going there, checking the car, check everything, check all the buttons, check the window is correct, the window is rolling or not, check you have stephanie or not, 
AC is working or not, indicator is working or not, everything, check it properly. If not, anything doesn't work, talk to the owner, negotiate on the price, tell this doesn't work, so reduce the price a little bit. Like this, you can negotiate on the price then and there also. So step three completed. Now step number four, if you are okay with everything, then you ask for a V5C new keeper slip to the owner. So this will look like this on slip that from the vehicle paper, they will tear it down and they will give this slip to you. So this V5C slip giving, after that owner will ask you to do the payment. You give the payment. Now you have the car, you have the slip, you have the key with you. Now you have to pay the car tax. So just go to Google and write a tax your vehicle and a uh, government of UK site will pop up. You just have to give the car number and here one reference number will be there that both you have to give and you have to give the tax. It could be monthly or yearly. So right now I'm paying like 16 pound a month for my car. So it is some for somebody it is less for somebody it is more depends on the car. So this is the tax is done. So now the step number uh, five, oops. Step number five is uh, you have to pay your insurance, car insurance. So for car insurance, it could be a whole lot of separate video on that because initially when I was taking insurance, it was very high. I was so tense that how I'm going to manage it. But uh, later point, I reduced it to like almost a half, half of the initial price. So there are like multiple of information you have to give inputs. And once you've done that, the companies will give you different insurance quote. So whichever is fits for you, you can go for it. You pay for monthly or yearly as, as uh, everything. So then your insurance is paid. One thing, if you want to know how I have reduced the insurance without giving any false information or wrong information, you can uh, write down in the comment section. I can make a separate small video for that information. Okay, so insurance is done. Now car is yours. So that is the whole process. Now we have to wait around 15 days of time to get the actual like full vehicle paper. This is just a new keeper slip. So once the whole process is done from the government of UK, they will be sending us a form which is called V5C form and that is our vehicle paper. So everything, all the process is very quickly. Everything is online. You don't have to go and stand in line, nothing. So this was the whole process, what we did. Uh, and yeah, I don't think I have missed anything. If you have any doubts, any questions, please write down in the comment section. If you like, don't like, write down in the comment section and let me know. Please subscribe to our channel and I will try to make more informative video on life in UK. And let me know if you want to see anything particularly, any particular video. So I'll try to make that too. And subscribe guys. It, it uh, gives encouragement because I have a full-time job, a kid. But uh, getting time to edit the video, post the video, it takes a lot of effort. So just subscribe it. It's nothing. It, it costs zero, right? So yeah, that is that. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Stay tuned. And love you all. Bye-bye. Stay safe.